So, and I hate to ask you this, but what are you doing in Boston? <laughs> I'm visiting. I'm visiting uh, all the famous clock towers. I went to the Custom House Clock Tower today. Oh. Up, yes. I, 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 I wanted to see it up close. So I went to the very top and looked at all the gears, and I reached in to feel them, and I got sucked in and started going around. <laughs> And as I was moving about within the gears, a school group on a field trip came up. One of the children said, look, tis akin to modern times. That might be your soulmate. That could be. (laughs) But he's underage, so I don't play ball. Well then, and word spread, and all different tour groups came, and elderly couples, arms around each other's shoulders, would say, oh, remember when we saw that film on our first date and kiss while I was spinning all through the gears? <laughs> getting hurt. None would help me. They thought it too jolly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That sounds like a nightmare. I'm so sorry. Twas it a nightmare or a very dream come true? <laughs> Tis not for me to decide, but the designer above. Timekeeper, I have a question. Yes. You enjoyed being sucked into the gears of this massive clock? It felt... Have you seen Superman 3 where the woman merges with the computer? Computer, sure. In those moments, I felt as if I was merging with Clark. And my essence was becoming that of time. And time was becoming that of me. So how'd you get out eventually? A dog bit my cuff and pulled me out. What is a dog doing up there? It was a watchdog! Yes, it's true to the last word. 